Okay, question 12, we have a velocity time graph. So, the graph below shows the velocity of an object moving in a straight line over a 20 second journey. So, part A wants us to find the maximum magnitude of the acceleration of the object. So, on a velocity time graph, acceleration is the gradient of the graph. So, we need to find the steepest section, which is going to be this bit. So, the gradient there, let's call it M, is difference in y, so let's say uh, 0 minus minus 4, so that's going to be 0 add 4 over difference in x, uh, which is going to be uh, 12 minus 13 And that is going to give us minus 4. So, the maximum magnitude of A is 4. Positive 4. The reason it's negative is because we are decelerating, but that is still a type of acceleration. Okay, part B, we're told the object is at its starting position at times 0, t1 and t2. We need to find t1 and t2. So, what we need to realise here, positive, Velocity means we're moving forward. Negative velocity means we are moving backwards. And remember, we are traveling in a straight line. So, distance on these guys is the area between the graph and the x-axis. So, let's work out the area in here. So we're going backward because we have a negative velocity. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So our height is 2, our base is 5, so, this is going to be um, 5 times 2 divided by 2, which is 5 metres backwards. So, at 5 seconds, we are 5 metres behind the starting point. So, let's write that down. At Five seconds, we are five meters behind the starting point. Okay, so what we now need to find is when we start moving forward, how long is it going to take for us to get 5 metres? So, if we break up the same triangle, this guy has an area of 1 times 2 divided by 2. So this is forward by 1 metre. 
So now we need to go four meters forward. So we're going to have a rectangle. It's too high. So to get an area of four meters, we are going to need to go across by two. So now this guy is forward by four meters. So at eight seconds, we are at a starting position. So T1 is equal to 8. Uh, I guess we should say 8 seconds. Okay. So then, from that, we are continuing to go forward. So, the area of this rectangle it's going to be 3 times 2, so this is forward by 6. Although, if we also add in the triangle, the triangle is going to have an area of 1 times 2 over 2, which is 1. So if we combine those, we're going forward by 7 metres. So at 12 seconds, we are 7 metres in front. So at t equals 12 seconds, we are 7 metres in front of the starting point. So, now we need to work out how long it's going to take us to go 7 metres backwards. So, if we split uh, this guy into a triangle, then the area of that triangle is 1 times 4 over 2. So this triangle is two meters backwards so now we need to go another five meters backwards now the height of this rectangle is four so remember that speed is equal to distance over time so uh, we can work out, our, well we know our speed is 4 meters per second. The velocity is negative, but speed is positive. So we know that 4 is equal to, we need to go 5 meters, so 5 over time. Therefore time is 5 over 4, which is 1.25. So, 1.25 seconds after 13, we are at the starting point. So, this is 14.25. So, T2. is 14.25 seconds. Cool.